these amendments should have been made. And where it's now being, being proposed, clearly is probably because of the challenges that we are presently having, COVID and what have you. But we shouldn't have waited this far before even bringing this. But Mr. President, let me say this. I've listened to several of my colleagues, and we are all in sync with one, one thing, and that is the fact that, yes, we need to increase our revenue. But in increasing our revenue, we should be mindful of the fact that a good tax system is such that people will willingly want to adhere with it and pay. When we create a system that people are now running away, evading taxes, not avoiding them, then you know there's a crisis, Mr. President. Some of my colleagues have argued that a lot are outside the banking sector. A lot of our people, not even those in the informal sector that is even doing something every day, that probably in a day they go to the market, whatever they earn, and that day that they will feed on. But there are several, millions, and I'm sure that uh, this is Senator Susan that was saying that when you go out there, you see legion of people, everybody, begging for money. It's now a norm. And until when we do things like this, that will make all of them to work, because ordinarily, Nobody, we want to be begging. But clearly now it's like a norm. People do not have things doing. And until when we begin to create a system that will enable our people to work, look at all our youth. And there are no work will be created, no employment will be created unless we have our infrastructures in place. It is when we have all these infrastructures in place that our real sector will be developed. Until our real sector is developed, we'll be chasing shadows. Agriculture, mining, manufacturing. Until all of those are attended to, we'll just be chasing shadows like this. Mr. President, I've looked at, into this again and again, and I noticed that we should begin to encourage, which is what this amendment is seeking to do, encourage our mediums and small-scale enterprises our MSME, micro, small, and medium-scale medium enterprises, they are the arteries. They are those that will allow our people to work. Even in this chamber, even it affected almost all of us. People every day saying that we are looking for a job for, we will ask, is it for you? He said, yes, yes, this is for my daughter, it's for my son. It's affecting all of us. People out there did not know that this thing is now the chickens are coming home to roost. Just look at the recent answers that we have. Until when the house, if we fail to provide for the have-nots, they will not allow us to enjoy what we have. So let me now pinpoint in all of this that have been said. I'm happy that somebody mentioned on this unclaimed dividend, even though it's not directly here. But let me say something about it. Yes, the government is right to say that let's look for money. Let's mop up all maybe fund that is there. But the way they are trying to go about it is wrong. Why do we even have this huge unclaimed dividend? It is just so straightforward. They make the system so cumbersome that it's difficult for people to access their dividend. Look at during the time of boom, all these banks, people were buying, buying shares, buying this, buying that. And when the thing collapsed, the banks were reduced from maybe 50, about 100, to a maximum of 20, all of those up to today. Nobody can access their dividend. And now the government are now planning to just more or less, maybe they want to access this fund. The rule says that maybe after 15 months, the unclaimed dividend will be returned back to those companies. The money are there, but what we should do is to ensure that those money work for us. It is not by maybe the government going directly through fiat, fiat and take the money, no. What we should do is to now reduce all of those bottlenecks that will enable people to claim their dividend. Once you lose your, loss, your loved ones, anybody that died, it is difficult for the next of kin or people that you left behind to even access those funds. And until when those are done, we'll continue to do like this. Look at our pension fund. We have huge amount of money there. These are money that should have been used, but people don't have confidence in the system. And that's why nobody is ready to let go with those money. And until when we use, we have access to all these risk-free funds that are just there idling, doing nothing. We will continue to face shadows like this. I have looked into what we are trying to do. We should find a way 
to, to get all this informal sector into the banking system. And the best way to do it is to continue to encourage our people to work. And there will be no work unless we do the right thing. Infrastructure will be in place, and once infrastructure is in place, then people will begin to do the needful. If we are not careful, people will still continue to take their money out of the banking sector. Inf international investors, even local investors, they will be wary of the system and they will not want to contribute to what is happening now. The world is not static, and that is why it is important that we should continue to move with time like this. I have seen the percentages that they've done. They've increased some, maybe from five, partly five to 50,000. Some to even say maybe anybody above 25 million is what you, it's good. But we should do more than that. And that is why I really cannot wait to have this bill so that we can look into clauses by clauses and see how we can better the lot of our people. Mr. President, on that note, I want to say that what the, the amendment proposed under the Procurement Act is good as well. In a scenario, we are look at the month today, people are still running around. And even people that have worked before, and I'm happy in this chamber we have passed to say that the advance that they should be given should be, I think it's been increased to 35, not the party maybe 15% that the job will not be done. And years over years upon years, they will be saying ongoing, ongoing, ongoing. And clearly, you know the results. Money will be misappropriated. There are some other areas where we should look into. And that is the area of wastages, how we can reduce our costs. Indeed, we are battling with one now. In a scenario where you just have 500 and something people and earning 9 billion, then you need to look at it. So, Mr. President, this uh, amendment is coming at the right time. And we should look beyond what the challenges that we are having now, because we are going to surmount this and what happens after this challenge. So, I so submit, Mr. President. Thank you.